Antonio, welcome to the UK, all the way across from the States. You're a hotel photographer and we touch base online, so it's lovely to welcome you here to Chateau nice Riant. Nice to meet you. Lovely, lovely place. In Wales, yes. yes. Love it, love it. First time in Wales. Brilliant. You'll be back? I, I <laughs> yeah, I will, actually. Bring the whole family. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I just wanted to touch base because a lot of people will see photographs on our website uh, and they'll, they'll often wonder where do these images come from. Now you're at the other end of the scale, you're taking photographs of luxury you know, places to stay right. all over the world and, and you're with us here um, doing castles. What's the excitement of creating an image that, that then is seen by people um, that attracts them to a property? It's it's very exciting to me. It's uh, it's it's what I do. I um, I love uh, getting getting att getting attention to a place. Right. Getting the right mood. Mm -hmm. Getting you know because when you're photographing people, when you get the emotion out of people, it's it's um, that's what that's what you try to achieve. Right. But when you're shooting a room, it's hard it's hard to achieve that. So what you, what you try to try to do is is get that same emotion out of a room with light right. and with mood. And that's that's where you differentiate uh, hotel photographers from regular architectural photographers. Right, so, okay. So it is, is it about the lighting? Is it the time of day? Is it the furniture that's in the room? Or is it it's, it's everything? It's everything. If you have a, a white room, white mm -hmm. interiors, you most likely would want to photograph it during the day and bring all that light out. Right. And if you get a dark room, with uh, candle settings, um, sort of like the piano room that we have at, uh, at the Chateau. Yes. Uh, you maybe want to photograph it uh, at night or or when it's a little darker, create a different type of mood. Right. You know, yes. sort of a cozy move. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I specialize in. That's what I try to achieve. Right. And you've been doing this since well for, for a long time. Now. I've been doing it for over fifteen years. Right. So. And just now I'm beginning to get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the pictures it. I've seen on Tobio, you, they look fantastic. Those are new. Those are the new ones. <laughs> <laughs> but but what it does, it, it does draw me in, and I think it's quite interesting because uh, people who own castles and whatnot probably don't appreciate the difference of a good photograph versus yes. something that that somebody's seen. Because the classic is that you've yes. got a wedding photographer in place, can you take a few pictures of some of the rooms, right. etc. But what yes. you do, just. Well, it, it, as I said, it just creates that sort of magnet to draw people in. That's, what, what that's my struggle. That's yeah. my struggle. Because people, uh, when they hire a photographer, they, 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 they all know the wedding photographers right. they're from, that you know, they're familiar with. They all know the portrait photographers, mm -hmm. so the outdoor thing. And when you hire a hotel photographer, you, you start to get that feeling that he's just going to come in and photograph, you know, stand with little cameras. It, it, yes. it, it, it's a lot of work. You have to hire assistants, you have to, uh, you know, put, it, it takes a lot of post-production, production, um, to get the right. It's not just the picture that you take on that it, day then. It's not, it's not just the picture. No, no. One of the other things that you, you do is obviously not just for properties themselves, but you do uh, a lot of travel writing and provide photographs for, for glossy magazines and high-end magazines. Um, what's the aspect there, what's the difference between taking something for a property and then for a magazine? Are you looking to bring people into it, or again, is it just the room shop? Well, when you're doing, when you shooting an editorial, it's you're trying to sell a story. Okay. So you have to find out from the manager of the hotel what's the story behind the castle. Mm -hmm. You know, what uh, the property has been renovated. You know, the property has uh, this wine cellar that's pretty important. They grow like. Um, What's the name of uh, the thornberry, but they actually grow the thornberry. The, the, the vineyard right. in, we, in the ground. Yeah. yeah. Halfway through that photograph, we discovered that they have a one, uh, you know, right. their own vineyard, yeah. and so okay, well, we need to tell that. So yeah. we need to uh, go and photograph people, you know, working on the uh, on the wine, right. that 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 sort of thing, as opposed to you photographing the. Um, just a hotel, so you just right. sort of got the interiors. So, 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 so it's a story that goes with that. Yeah, exactly. You can tell that story. Exactly. So it's, it's taken through a number of shots as opposed right. to one. So you do a little bit of both. You yeah. Do, you do a little bit. Of, you get the rooms, you capture the mood of the rooms, and then you also tell a story. Yes. People working, you know, in the gardens. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of work. To, those gardens are absolutely gorgeous, yes. and they take a lot of work. So you maybe get a shot or two 
of um, you know uh, the gardener, mm -hmm. you know that type of thing. That's lovely. Yeah. Coming, from, coming from the states, you don't have this historical no, uh, no. backdrop in, in effect. No. So it must be quite uh, quite an interesting area to work in. Yes, yes, and it's very interesting uh, for the American market mm -hmm. because. Um, you don't see castles in America like, mm -hmm. like you do here. I'm assuming that if you're from, from England, you see a castle and like you see you drive by them every day and, and, and you're not as excited as you are. Well, actually, actually I think actually it's quite interesting because in the UK, yes, we've got castles in mind, but most people think they're visitor tracks and so you go and you spend a day there, right. enjoy some activities. A lot of people don't realize you can actually sleep in the castles and have them for events, etc. So, you know, there's a lot of people in the UK who will, will see them and not visit or, or exactly. just pop in but not realize you could sleep there. So that's that's still a challenge that we have as a business. So Antonio, right. thanks very much for uh, sharing those 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 uh, thoughts with us. And um, we look forward to seeing more of your images as time goes on. Thank you. Thank you very much.